Here is Steam installed and working on my Chromebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Steam on your Chromebook. Before we get in, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face any problem. Firstly, copy the Crostini container install flag. Head on over to your Chrome browser and click on it. Now once in Chrome, paste this link in your search bar and hit enter right away. Go ahead and select default. Now quick facts, Debian 10 is Buster, whilst Debian 11 is Bullseye. If you already have the terminal installed, kindly use the last command to check your Debian version. Now select Bullseye as your Debian version and then go ahead and restart your Chromebook for the changes to apply. Now hit the search bar and type in settings. Once in settings, click on advanced and then scroll down and click on developers. Now turn on your Linux development environment and once the screen or the interface pops up, go ahead and click on next. Now feel free to change your Linux development environment name to whatever you please and go ahead and customize the size of your Linux development environment. I'll leave mine at 20 because I use Linux a lot and then I'll hit install. Now all you have to do is wait for the Linux terminal to finish installing. Now copy the link for the scheduler configuration flag. Open your browser, paste it in your search bar and hit enter. Now click on defaults and change it to enables hyper threading. Once done, minimize the tab and go back to the links. Copy the Crostini GPU support flag link, move back to your browser, paste it and hit enter as well. Likewise, click on default and change this to enabled. Now reset your Chromebook so that the Chromebook can apply this. Just a quick word, if you're looking for ways to make money online, you've got to try out peer to profit It's a safe software that allows you to share your internet and return for money. I use this personally and I can vouch that it doesn't steal your personal information and that it's legit. If you're interested, kindly click the link down in the description or the link on my website to get started. Now let's check your Debian version by copying the last code and letting it run in the terminal. As we can see, my version is 11.7, however, anything above 11 should work perfectly fine. Now copy and paste from code 1 to 6. And whilst doing that, I need you to pay attention to these tips. Firstly, if you happen to face an error when running a code, kindly attempt to rerun the code again, as sometimes slow Wi-Fi or miscopying of a code could be the cause of the error. Secondly, your performance will be hugely based off the specific generation of your CPU and your RAM. Sometimes lagging can be solved by reducing your resolution, but that comes at the cost of the quality or graphics of your game. Once the last code is done, we need to wait for Steam to finish installing. Now I'm going to log into my account and I'll see you guys on the other side. Now as you can see, it's installed and it's working. Go ahead and download as many games as you want and use it as you please. With that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face any problem at all.